You might not know this, but inside the electric cars you see every day, there's a key cooling system made of what's called a liquid cooling tube. It wraps tightly around the battery pack and its job is to quietly carry away a ton of heat during fast charging or when you're driving hard. So how is this precision tube made? Surprisingly, the process is a lot like something you'd see in a kitchen. The main method is called aluminum extrusion, but you can just imagine it's a giant pasta maker. Factories take a solid bar of aluminum, that's the dough, heat it up until it's soft, and then use a ton of force to push it through the pasta maker. The opening of the mold has a specific shape, so the shapeless dough comes out as a hollow tube with channels running right through it. However, just making the tube is the first step. The core of its design really comes down to a trade-off, the size of the opening. Assuming the wall thickness is the same, the smaller the opening, the faster the liquid flows, but it also creates more resistance. On the other hand, the larger the opening, the slower the flow will be, but there's less resistance, so it flows much more smoothly. And because of that high speed, a tube with a smaller opening is actually more efficient at transferring heat, assuming all other conditions are equal. This high-speed, high-resistance quality of a small opening makes it ideal for powerfully cooling small areas, like computer chips. The downside, of course, is that it uses more power and creates more noise. Conversely, the low-speed, low-resistance nature of a large opening allows a lot of liquid to flow quietly and efficiently. This makes it the top choice for things that need even cooling over a large area, like the battery packs in electric cars. So, when it comes to liquid cooling tube design, there's no single best option, only the most suitable one. It's this precise design, tailored to specific needs, that powers our efficient high-tech lives today.